The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, Inutabi here, and today we're going to take a look at Jinx. So this came in the mail in the pile of loot from BBTS. I never had this figure as a kid. Um, I know some people complain about the sleeves or whatever. I'm fine with it. It doesn't really bother me, but we'll see how it is. Uh, it's in the new packaging. We've kind of done a comparison against the boxes here before, but just kind of show you the difference in size. I know that's... Quite a bit of difference trying to go to the smaller packaging artwork still in the same I, I did like uh how they did this little section but at least the box heights are different so you know it is what it is before we get started with this too far if you have not you're watching this and you enjoy gi joe classified please think about subscribing to the channel liking the video sharing the video all that great stuff really would appreciate it so yo number 124 right here we got jinx this is pretty cool nice little group of accessories uh is this on previous body i don't know i look there's like bobby b he's really good at, like knowing which body goes on which and stuff like that i'm not he can tell you <laughs> but uh i just i don't know is, is this like the the ninja uh girl from the movie snake eyes movie i don't know maybe i don't have a figure so artwork here on the side that looks pretty good and we got here in the dojo training with the blindfold on and whatever we call this thing. Some tattoos. Uh, Kim Jinx Arashi Kage. And then there's the barcode and stuff like that. I'll never pay attention to that. You know, my complaint is if you can do all this, you can leave this blank in this little section, put a put a file card and put the stuff on the bottom. I mean, you really could. I mean, you don't have to do all this, but eh, it is what it is. And no stand, so, you know. I really just wish that would be the standard affair to stand with every figure. But uh, I say it in every video, but maybe at some point that'll happen. Anyway, let's open up, take a look at it. All right, she comes with uh, some accessories that were notoriously hard to get out of plastic. I don't know why that's such a problem now, but uh, this looks pretty good. Silver, got kind of like the brown wrap around the handles and then black. Uh, it's bendy to a degree. So you know, but not so bendy, so not as bendy as I thought it would be. Uh, we've got the blindfold, which is flexible, which makes sense. I'm fine with that because it needs to wrap around the face. We'll show that. We've got two hands. It comes with two fists already on the figure, which is kind of different. And two hands, so two grasping hands. Cool. We've got a sword here. Right here with the brown handle wrapped around there like that. And then we've got a uh, scabbard for the sword to go in like that and then we've got the red head here uh with the ninja tassels and whatever wrapped around the face so i probably won't use this one because i do like the standard here but you could kind of make a troop builder out of this if you bought another one and just did this head you could have like a just a generic ninja so that's it for the accessories let's bring in the figure one thing i'll say out of the packaging this joint right here is kind of loose on mine so it's cool. It looks pretty good. Got a necklace around here. Kind of short hair. Got some tattoos. They look okay. They go up under like this wrist wrap thing. Uh, this tassel's molded in. Got the uh, dragon here on the, the shirt. Flip it around. Got kind of a stripe down the side. And then we got the wraps around the legs. Uh, it doesn't have like the ninja toes. Got like boots. So... Surprised at that. Got the kind of the baggy things. Uh, that is, why is it so, I don't know. I don't like that, but I uh, don't like the fist. I'm going to pull those off. Uh, articulation is, you can look down here. You can look up pretty good, actually. Side to side. Uh, butterfly. Fast up, rotation, double elbows. No pins, thank God. Uh, you do have kind of the oval cut here. For the abdominal, which not a whole lot. Mine's really tight. You got a waist here. 
where this wraps. And look at that. Wow. Wow. Oh, that sucks. Is that broke? Uh, it's just really loose on that joint. Wow. Why is that so... Mm. It's like that ball joint's not right. Let's see. Can we fix this without too much problem? It's on there, but it is not on there very good. I mean, look at that. That is... I don't know. Uh, maybe we can make do with it, but that's unfortunate. You got thigh cut, double knees. Uh, you got rotation on the wrap right there, and then you got a rocker. So, yeah, I'm on. I'm on. Uh, I'm gonna reach out to BBTS about this figure and see if I can get a replacement because that's that's stupid right there. I mean, the other one is not doing that at all. Let's see. And this one is. Yeah, that's, I don't know, that's not very, very well made. But maybe we can make through it, through the video without too many problems. But there you go, that's the figure itself. Uh, you can plug the sword on the back. I guess like this, if you want to do that. Wow, that's... Ugh. Can do that there's nowhere else to really mount uh that leg is not gonna hold yeah this is this is freaking ridiculous um yeah unfortunately Let's see if i can figure out how to fix this but it seems like that joint isn't in there it's as good as it should be i don't know yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to get a replacement because that's, I don't know if people have seen that, but that's unfortunate. Uh, let me see. You can do this here. You can do, I guess, the blindfold over the face. Like that. Okay. You can make it work somehow. Maybe that isn't the best blindfold I've ever seen, but. Man, that leg joint's annoying. And does this fold it over? Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to do this on camera. I don't think I got it exactly right, but you can do the blindfold uh, and then swap out the hands. Let's swap out the hands. All right, swap the hands out. I don't I don't really like the fists. Um it's a pretty cool figure, man. I'm not gonna lie. I, you know, I think it's pretty cool over neat overall. Um accessories are fine. You can run the sword. Yeah, I feel like the, the closed fist should have been the option fist and these should have come on it. But you know, that's a minor nitpick. But this this joint right here is is look is really messed up here. Why is that one so I don't know. Yeah, it just doesn't want to stick in there. So been a while since I really had any main quality issues with a Joe figure. But I guess it happens to the best of us, right? So overall, pretty cool figure. This sucks, you know, with the joint. Uh, I'm, like I said, you can run this head if you want to. Have an extra figure. Uh, maybe have a troop builder. But yeah, Jinx, pretty cool. Let me know in the comments. You picked this up. I am going to contact BBTS because, uh, yeah, you shouldn't have a problem with a figure like that straight out of the box. That's actually the first time I've had that happen. I've had the, like, the... Crazy app crunch. I even had the little gap at the waist, but I've never had one just where the leg come off the ball joint and just doesn't want to stay on there. I've been pressing it in there, but I don't. I don't think it's gonna stay. It just doesn't feel right. I knew it didn't feel right out of the box. So there it is, Jinx number one twenty four. Uh, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Uh, you know, it is what it is. That's unfortunate, but hey, let's see if we can get that fixed out. Uh, let me know in the comments also, uh, what what in this wave are you excited about? I'm still waiting on Torch and Doc. Those, I believe, are my two most wanted, um, you know, figures in the line, other than, you know, that Night Creeper. So let me know which ones you're looking forward to as well. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, stay tuned for more, and we'll see you down the road.